you may see the duck truck around town and wonder what it is about ducks that makes it so special. We're here with Paul Collins to tell us all about it. Can you imagine having a duck follow you? As a child, Paul Collins had a pet duck that followed him everywhere. I just loved ducks. I had a pet duck as a kid. Uh, he followed me to school, flew after the school bus, helped me with my homework, and uh, after that I was ducked. Coming over to New York from West Ireland, Paul Collins has owned the Duck Inn for 12 years. I bartended for 10 years, then I uh, took over my own okay. Duck Inn, showed them how it was done. What started as a childhood pet has become a thriving business with a unique theme that quacks for itself. So I painted this duck here. That was the first thing I did. And uh, people just kept bringing duck after duck. What's that noise? It's called the duck truck. Uh, I got a local artist, uh, sign design. I asked him to paint some ducks on my truck and that's what he came out with. People do tend to gawk at it, look at it, rubber neck it and wave and smile. Puts a smile on everybody's face when they see the duck wagon, especially the young kids. Many people don't know this, but there's a lot of history in the building of the Duck Inn. During the Prohibition era in the 1920s, the building was owned by one of America's most famous gangsters, Al Capone. Yes, back in the Prohibition days, in the 30s, early 30s, late 20s, uh, Al Capone used to own this building and the next building and he used to sneak the whiskey in from the harbour in a tunnel which goes underneath the road and into the basement of the Duck Inn. The Duck Inn invites the friendly neighbourhood to come in and enjoy the house drink, the Fluffy Duck. Now we will leave you with a challenge. I'm willing to offer a thousand dollars for anybody that can count exactly how many ducks I have here. For the local live, this is Catherine Castro signing off.